Hi, I'm Simona from Vector Twist. In today's Adobe Illustrator CC tutorial, I will show you how you can add an easy adjustable and movable drop shadow effect to your objects to make them appear floating in the air. Creating drop shadows in Illustrator isn't difficult. For example, I created a laptop with some accessories on my artboard, and in order to add depth, I can select one of the objects just underneath the laptop, go to Effect, Stylize, and choose Drop Shadow. Here in my Drop Shadow pop-up menu, I can set the mode to Multiply, so it blends into my background, choose a percentage for the opacity settings, and work with the X and Y offset numbers. Mine are currently set to 7 pixels. The Blur is set to 5. Now if I check the preview, you can see that underneath my laptop, I have a Drop Shadow now. In order to make my shape to appear like floating, I need to push my drop shadow downwards. So I have to play with the numbers in the X offset and Y offset. To push it downwards, I need to increase my Y offset to, let's try 20%, and the minus value for the X offset. Let's check preview again. And as you can see, my shadow is appearing underneath my laptop. But it's still not farther away. So I have to increase my Y offset. So let's put a value of 40 and wait till it renders. At the same time, I also want to play with the opacity setting and let's change from 75 to 25%. And then we press OK. Now we've created a drop shadow, but it's not far away from our object to make it to appear floating. Of course, we can change the settings. We can just go to the Appearance panel, double click the effect, and we get the drop shadow pop up menu again. And then we can play with the values again. But this is really time consuming and tedious. In order to create an illusion that our artwork flows, we need to set up a really high offset number. And often we don't even know how far away we want it, and it's a little bit of a trial and error. And it can become quite annoying to do it with the drop shadow effect here in Adobe Illustrator CC. So let me show you how you can add a drop shadow without using the Adobe Illustrator drop shadow effect and without wasting time. First, we need to create a shape either exactly or similar to the object we want to float. So in my case, it's the laptop base, so I'm choosing the pen tool and I'm going to trace the base of my laptop. I have my smart guides on, so it helps me much better to trace it. Then this shape we're going to fill with a dark gray. I'm going to move it over to the side so we can see it better. I'm going to keep my shape selected, then go back to Effect, Stylize, and I'm going to choose Feather just underneath Drop Shadow. I'll get another pop-up window and I'm going to set the radius to 60 pixels. Let's check the preview and see what happens. We'll press OK. Unfortunately, it doesn't look very good right now. We have to make a few changes. The first change we're going to make, we're going to change the blending mode from normal to multiply, and then we're going to increase the opacity from 100% down to 25%. Now if I deselect, you can see that my edges are blurred. And now I can select the shape, move it underneath my laptop, and I'm going to get the illusion of a drop shadow. A similar way we did with the drop shadow effect in Adobe Illustrator CC, but much faster and much easier to manipulate. And if I want to make my laptop float high in the air, all I have to do is select my shape and push it even further away. And this way I can create a really dramatic look. And I didn't even have to go back and change any of the settings. One thing I would like to mention though, you can of course change the feather radius and blur it either less or more. It really depends what kind of look you're going for. So let me show you how you can do this. You select your shape, you open up the appearance panel, double click on the feather effect, and then you get the pop-up menu again and you can change the radius. Let's see, I'm going to increase it to 80 pixels. I press the preview, see if I like it, and if yes, I click OK. This feather effect is really easy to apply and it lets you move your shadow for your object so much better and faster than with the actual drop shadow effect that Illustrator offers. I've created already all of my drop shadows via this feather effect. I'm going to turn on my layer to show you. And now with all my designs, I'm floating my headphones, my laptop, my pencils and paper up in the air. So please give it a try. Test it and let me know in the comments below how you like it and if you find it useful. I would love to know what you think. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and check out our Vector Twist channel, where you'll find loads of useful and easy to follow Adobe Illustrator tutorials. And be sure to subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell too, 
so you'll get instantly informed when the next Vector Twist video is live. I'll see you next time.